what was your reactions like if a man walked up to you after or during the event and, and women walked up to you? People said that they were amazed how the food and the drinks and, and the fragrance all complemented each other. And it was like it became such a sense of experience that where the fragrance stopped, the fragrance picked up, where the fragrance stopped, the tasting oh, picked okay. up. Okay, great. And so we really did things like, uh, as an example, with Mal Supreme, we matched Mal Supreme, if you could imagine this, with tarragon as one of the, one of the oh, herbs okay. in the food. And it really boosted the whole smell of Mal Supreme with this tarragon note from the food. It was just amazing. Well, you think about it. I mean, that's what brings you to food is just the aroma of the food that you want it. You get hungry just smelling the that's right. The delicious sense of food. So that's right. It was a great compliment together. Oh, so yeah. let's take a look at our next. This and is a, uh, one of the four. Yeah, and this is the last one. This is Malsa, which is what we were um, just uh, smelling, and you have a strip over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Malsa Prem, again, is just, yeah, this beautiful uh, men's fragrance. It's very clean, and, um, you know, it's... Um, it doesn't have the typical, like that typical high citrus, like, you mm -hmm. know, always just a lime top, you know, mm -hmm. type of thing. It's very, very clean and, and fresh air sort of smelling to me. And, and, and I really wanted to make something that, again, could really span different parts of a man's daily life. They right. could... They could wear it with the suit and, and be comfortable wearing it and work and not offending someone with something too strong. They could wear it with a ca on a casual day. They could wear it out doing whatever they're going to do and, and feel that they, you know, that they have that, that little something that's special to them in their expression. Well, I think looking at all four designs of, of the dresses, I think this is really what a man would like to see. Oh, right yes, <laughs> yes. And what a beautiful dress. And uh, Geneva, you look beautiful in that. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's it, so it's great. It's just perfect. It yeah. really is. Yes. So thank you so much, Geneva. Now, what's next? With all of this, you're just going to keep designing and keep creating and keep women just constantly looking for new things with your company. Absolutely. You know, um, I think that like any sort of art form, um, whether it be music or paintings or whatever, you know, there's only so many notes in a, in, a, in a musical scale. There's only so many colors that we can see in a painting. And there's only so many things that we can smell, but it's the combination, the unique combination in novel new ways that everybody's looking for as an experience, as a human experience and part of our joy. And, and I think that creating scent and, you know, and continuing to use all of those different notes that we can smell and making these new and unique sort of, um, you know, sensory experiences is something that just brings such joy and, and, and richness to people's lives. And do you find people use more colognes and fragrances in the winter or the summer? Or do you just, just find 12 months a year? Is it something that, I mean, I know like one of them really smells so fresh and light and airy, like on a hot day, mm -hmm. like today, it, that would really feel like very refreshing to mm -hmm. me, very yeah. cooling. Yeah. Yeah, I think, um, I think it really depends on the person. Some people, um, I, I think that fragrance wearers um, can vary. You have some people that have their signature scent. They'll wear the same thing year in and year out, you know, every season. And then some people are seasonal or, or have moods that strike them. I'm kind of one of those people that... I have this combination. Um, seasons definitely impact what I want to wear, like you were saying. Certain things, even if they really don't make you cooler, they make you feel cooler just by the sense of smelling something that's light and airy. It makes you feel cooler. Right. You know, and um, something that's like deep and spicy, for me, I'm going to wear that in the wintertime because it makes me feel more cozy and exactly. warm somehow. You know, so yeah, I, I think that it really, it really depends on the individual. Um, what about you? You wear a signature scent, right? Yeah, I always did. I always wore the same. But I mean, mm -hmm. since I've gotten to know you, I have to try some of these because I think they're delightful. And well, I, I just you. find that there's a certain time that I want to feel very sexy and romantic. Yeah. And there's yep. other times I just want to feel free as a breeze. And I think that you've captured all that. Oh, thank you so much. No, that's, I that's really that. important. And, you know, years and years ago, I remember uh, on a hot day, You'd splash on Jeanine, Jean Botch, Jean Notte, is that what you called it? Jean Notte. Jean Notte, Someone Jean laughed yeah. the other day when I said that. They said, that's not still around. I said, I don't know if it is or not. Oh, it is. It still it is, is around. Yes, it but is. But now that's like a splash, it at, is. you know, a hot day. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, would you think eventually? keep expanding the line into that I could I mean if it makes if it makes sense for um, you know for uh, my uh, my customers if they really want something beyond the beyond that yeah I could certainly you know 
create another product that could that could in, in, you know embody that. But right now you've captured it all. I mean, you've got four different types. As I said, one's light, one's a little stronger a li right. and a little sexier so that it gives you that. And then to combine it with Ben, I just, I think that's what's so fascinating to oh, me. Thank you, thank yeah. you. I've been watching a, a, my husband when he gets ready to go out, it's, he always reaches for some kind of cologne. But I, it's very so personal, you know, to find the right one. Mm -hmm. There's certain ones that I know he would never put on yeah. that, you know, someone would give him for gift and he'll say, I got to return this because, you know, this is not what I want to put on. Yeah. So do yeah. you find that with men? Do they, they, they a little pickier than women, do you think? They tend to be and they, 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 they wear fragrance for different reasons, I think, sometimes. Um, some men will wear it stri strictly for the idea of the, the fashion and the mood that they're feeling in that particular day. But I think a lot of men also will wear a fragrance because they're trying to either, um, they're trying to either um, um, gain favor with <laughs> someone the they're interested in, right? <laughs> And um, or they're trying to get approval from somebody that's important to them. So maybe they'll wear something because they know it's it's something that their wife likes to smell on them. So they're going to wear that as a compliment to you, right? Right. Um, so there's a, there's a few different reasons, but yeah, men's men's reasons for wearing fragrance are are more about approval and more about more about uh, making sure that they're really attractive to the person that they're attracted to. Right. You know, whereas I think for women. I think that that's certainly true that we will wear a fragrance because we want to attract somebody. But I, I think also we'll wear a fragrance we're just in the mood for wearing it <laughs> yes, that particular exactly. day. And well, that's the way we want to do it. You're not completely dressed without it. I that's mean, right. I, you've seen, now, is there a proper way to, to use it? I mean, uh, some people put it behind the ear, some women put it here, yeah. some women put it yeah. on the, just on their wrist. Is it the, does it gain anything or is there a better way to put it? The best ways to wear a fragrance, I think, is you want to put it in folds where it's going to be warm. So you could do it here. You could do it like, oh, okay. you know, like more, there. More in a fold. Yeah. You could do it on the folds. You could do it in the back of your knees Okay. Um, because that's another place. And, and, and as things evaporate, they're going to rise. The other place you can do is the back of the neck. Yeah, that's the nape usually of the neck. where I put I it. I like to put it there because then, you know, as your hair moves or as your head moves, it wafts around and you get a nice little scent. You can definitely put some down here, you know, into your decolletage, uh -huh. you know, and a little bit maybe even and the dips of your um, of your collarbone okay. is another nice little place to put fragrance. But you know, there really isn't any hard fast rule about what where to wear it. Just wherever it makes the I mean, wherever it makes you the happiest. I would say the only thing you don't want to do is you don't want to wear fragrance on your face. Um, I'm really um, I'm really not a proponent of. Um, cosmetics having a lot of fragrances or okay. you know lotions having a lot of fragrances that you're going to put on your face because your face is so sensitive you really could get an irritation from right. fragrance on mm -hmm. your skin you know so you want to make sure that you're you're careful about that so all of those that are watching and really want to find out more and they want to try that new app that you can get some samples and they can really try it Tell us what they do. Well, they would actually just go out to the go out to the site, place their order, and they can make a little note to just say, "I saw this, you know, on on the Yolanda show." Okay. And if they just make the note in their in their their purchases, a place where they can make a comment. Right. They can put, "I I saw this on Yolanda," and we'll go ahead and we'll put together your little mini deluxe traveler <laughs> traveler collection. That's fantastic. And so, with any special gifts you're thinking of friends or maybe a loved one and you want to really enjoy mm -hmm. giving that gift and probably get something for yourself at the same time. Absolutely. Go online and your website again? It's www.robertaandrade.com. It's a delight to have you back and it looks like you keep moving ahead and you're going to come visit us again when you have some more products. I, I would and be everything is manufactured to. here. Everything is right here in Newton, Massachusetts. That's right. Manufactured here. Yeah, manufactured here. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll have you back on again, and thanks for coming back to oh, tell us about the new so launch. Um, it sounds wonderful, and I'm going to try the restaurant there. It's right here in Arlington, Mass. Right, right in Auburndale. Auburndale. It's the Bocabella Bistro and Cafe, and the chef, his name is Mario Bocabella, and he is an incredibly talented chef. Well, they're going to have to go there and say, coming over to see you since we saw the show. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks for watching and watch for us soon, coming up very soon. Thanks so much. Thank you, honey. Thanks for coming oh, back. Thank you.